Welcome! In this video we discuss the definition of done, why it is important and give an example of how it is created. Blake and Nisha have been working hard this sprint on a product backlog item for their online grocery website. They created a feature that allows customers to look at what they ordered previously on the website and easily repeat the same order again. Just a few days before the sprint ends, they move the product backlog item to done. Everyone is excited. A team celebration is in place. On the day the team plans to release the feature to the customer, another member, Steve, notices that the graphics used in this feature do not comply with the required copyright rules. Steve asks why Blake and Nisha moved the product backlog item to done when it's obvious to him that it cannot be released in its current state. Blake and Nisha, on the other hand, thought it was releasable. After all, they met all the acceptance criteria, so they consider it done. The team has different views of what it means to be done. Robin, the Scrum Master, points out that the Scrum team needs a definition of done. She explains that a definition of done exists to avoid the situation the team is in from happening. It describes the quality standards the increment needs to meet for it to be considered as done. This creates transparency, a real shared understanding of what it means to be done. Everyone in the team agrees that establishing a definition of done is a must, and Robin volunteers to facilitate. However, first, the team wants to explore the confusion that they have about acceptance criteria versus the definition of done. Robin shows two example product backlog items. One for a feature that allows customers to place repeat orders on the website, and another feature that enables customers to sort products on a results page. She asks everyone to compare the acceptance criteria of both product backlog items. Could the acceptance criteria of the repeat order product backlog item also apply to the sorting product backlog item? The team members quickly establish that this is not the case and come to the conclusion that acceptance criteria are specific to a single product backlog item. Now Robin brings up an example of a definition of done. And she asks the same question. Could the criteria of the definition of done apply to both product backlog items? The answer is yes. A definition of done applies to all product backlog items. It ensures a quality standard for the work the Scrum team does. Now everyone knows the difference between acceptance criteria and the definition of done, Robin asks everyone in the team to individually think and write down on a sticky note all the things they can think of that are needed to create a usable valuable product increment and add it to the board. Once that is done, the team groups any duplicates or similar items. Robin allows time for team members to ask each other questions and discuss any items that need further clarifying. It is now time to agree which of the items need to be included in the definition of done. Once they included everything that they believe should go in there, they do a vote to ensure everyone agrees. Blake, Nisha, Robin and Steve know that a definition of done itself is likely never done and that is a good thing as they should continually strive to improve. Over time the team learns, the product evolves and so does the definition of done. The team makes sure they regularly inspect and adapt their definition of done. Want to learn more about the definition of done, how to apply it when multiple teams work on the same product or what approach to take when organizational standards already exist, visit the scrum.org website. We hope this short video has been helpful. And thank you for watching.